Hello, this is Thomas Spoofard, and welcome to my iteration number two. So, to start off with, we have the like instruction scene that we saw in the first one. I decided to remove the flat or the like little jump there because, uh, well, it just kind of didn't you know, it seemed weird there, and also I already have these obstacles that you'll ultimately have to jump over over there. I also moved this text over here because they're like a little further towards the corner there because in the last one I noticed a lot of people were just not seeing it altogether. So I wanted it further over so that it would be more likely to be in their field of view. And getting here is the wall over here again. So yeah, this ultimately either they start playing with the thing or they had to jump over it. So that kind of allows it to be a less obnoxious, ugly thing anyway. Uh, I added these little things here just to give more... I probably should have made this whole arena smaller initially, but since it is this big, I added a little more stuff to play with in here. A little bit of like targets you can play around. I'd encourage you to start playing with aiming at things in the world. They're also not terribly hard to Instead, they're not terribly hard to get on top of, so you know, just a first little thing you can play with there. I added some bigger blocks near the end, which can conceptually be used as a kind of jumping off point on top of the first steps here, but are otherwise just something fun to play with. Uh, I added an explanation here because I noticed a lot of people weren't. Still not, we're still not appreciating that you actually can affect yourself. And as you can see, I did make it so that the stairs and things have their own unique textures. Gave some arrows to indicate the general path of travel. So yeah, now the stairs definitely stand out a lot more against everything and the stair top, uh, uh, the stair surfaces are red to hint at using the red or explosive rocket on them I'm not having luck with here whatever <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble with the stair for some well, there we go got my timing back So I'm just going to pull up the rest of the stairs because we've seen. And I'm failing at that. Oh, well. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm it up. So anyway, now you can see there's also obvious arrows to indicate which way is like the exit because the exit wasn't really particularly that visible with the colors that are. And even if you pull yourself up the other side of the wall, you can still see these very obviously saying, hey, there's where the door is, so go that way. Uh, as you can see, the same kind of color system for in here, the obvious jump up there, and the red arrow along the wall there to show the general movement of jumping up at an arced angle. As you can see, I have removed, or rather inverted, the weird geometry right there, so there's no longer uh, basically impossible to get up ledge, and in fact, you have a little ledge there that you can end up falling onto to give yourself a little bit of a halfway point. Uh, one, and finally, when you get up here, the finish has actually been put in. I, I overshot it a little bit, but usually, as I've found, when you fly up and hit the wall there, you end up coming down right about on this finish point here. And as you can see, it's all the banana glory from the first iteration. 
Yep, that's the level. Iteration 2, thank you for watching.